So we use the deterrent depleted water initially mm -hmm. because it works, um, it's the fastest and most efficient way to get the deterrent levels depleted quickly so we can kick back in those motors again. That deuterium is kind of like acting like a thick, gluggy oil inside their engine and it's mm -hmm. inhibiting from the car engine from moving properly to be able to get to where it wants to be. And so this um, extra load of deuterium is doing the same thing inside their cells. I want people to be able to picture the tiny little cells not being able to function properly and produce some of the energy, which is what's required for all these great things to happen. And the yucky thing about deuterium is that the more we get, the more it bogs down our cellular energy, mm -hmm. the more we lose our own natural mechanisms for depleting deuterium. So we keep it at the right level to function. So it does create this vicious, vicious downhill negative cycle in that the more we get, the more we lose our ability to deplete it. Therefore, the more we get, the more we can't get rid of it. The worse we feel, the more we get. Oh, and that's why it's a bad story, right? You can actually turn that nasty cycle around to a really positive upward cycle in that the more you deplete it initially, mm -hmm. as we get it low enough below, we want to get it below a 130 ppm, and most people start out higher than that in age. So once they get it below a certain level, they're not inhibited. They have enough cellular energy now to kick in their own natural mechanisms for depleting it. Therefore, the more you deplete it, the more you can deplete it, the more you deplete it. So you start to get this better. You start to feel better, more, the more energy you can make, and then you start to go in a whole opposite cycle. young guy with stage four colon cancer who we referred to an oncologist and he went through quite a bit of chemo and uh, he called me and said, Dr. Cooper, I'm in remission, um, but I didn't lose my hair and I didn't have any of those horrible things happen to me that I heard that it was going to happen because as you deplete your deuterium, you do have more cellular energy so you don't get as much fatigue um, or the chemo brain, things like that. And Dr. Q will explain to you how that works, how you know deuterium can be a fuel for tumors to grow. But as you deplete it, you are now able, you have many things that help you. Not only are you taking away the fuel, but you're enabling your immune system to act in a way that's more robust. Mm. And so you have a stronger immune system that can deal with things. So that even the oncologists have stronger patients even coming into it, which, which yeah. they like. And they have patients that are doing better along the way. Uh, so that's always nice to hear from our patients. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have a lot of prostate cancer patients last week who's telling me, yes, you know, the scan is done and there's less metastasis and there's less tumor growing. I mean, all the patients are just thrilled to hear that because they haven't oh, been hearing of course, that much. Yeah. Then on the other hand, I just really, you know, they work with cancer patients, but early on I realized, well, Cellular energy is for everything. Most people, after a certain age, you know, in the 90s, in the teenage and 20s and early yeah. 30s, maybe, you have found this energy and you never yeah. think you're going to need to <laughs> slow down or rest or see a physician. But most people above that are really wanting more energy. So, okay, that's the great thing to have. Let's not be suffering. And when you have less energy, you can't accomplish things in life. You, you start mm -hmm. to get down. Mm -hmm. So, what I hear from most patients in the early days, in the first few days, weeks, um, that they do have more energy. They feel better. They can accomplish more. They get out of bed, being able to do more. And the, that creates a lot of happiness. The other one is sleep. They tell me they really can sleep better and um, that they may not even need as much sleep but still feel better. We do know that REM sleep is important. And deep sleep is known as the repair and restore phase of sleep. So that's when we use this newfound energy from our cells to go and fix things that have gone awry. And the other one is cognition. People tell me early on that they can focus and read and uh, pay attention and write better. So those are the three that I do notice early on. Mm -hmm. We've had a, quite a few patients who have a lot of strange diagnosis, like combinations of things like Lyme's and EMF sensitivity. And these people have had to really 
move away from their lives and sometimes their family and are living in a, a tree somewhere practically because right. they just can't deal with the world the way it is. Their body's broken down and it's not strong enough. And we've had people write to us my, uh, and in, in increments in the beginning, my pain is better, I'm doing better. And then down the road, oh, I'm moving out of my tree. And I think this is the most amazing thing. And thank you for sharing detune depletion with me because now I'm making my life about detune depletion and I'm going to raise pigs in a detune depleted manner so I could be a part of this, you know, sharing this with everybody. We've had four clinical trials. Uh -huh. We've treated over 10,000 cancer patients uh, already. But we also have won, uh, have won six gold medals in the last Winter Olympics, some of, uh, some of our clients, oh, because wow. this, is, this is good for every stage of life. It's just life. It's, by deteriorating depleted, it actually makes every single, we haven't seen anything, it doesn't help. It shrinks a tumor, therefore surgery works better. It gives you more energy, therefore you're able to now not be fatigued. Um, it keeps your skin integrity. So it, it keeps your inflammation down and glucose down. So now gangrene and things for diabetes, they're not there anymore. Mm -hmm. So this is, it's just everything, you know, we almost want to say it's like, uh, what is it, Windex? We mm -hmm. almost, you know, we, <laughs> we sometimes joke, it, but it's just the basis of the way biology works. If you lower your deterrent levels or keep them in check and enable your body to be able to produce cellular energy, you're going to have a much more robust system that can um, deal with electromagnetic radiation, which we've seen. We've seen people who have been very sensitive and once they've lowered their deuterium levels, they're not noticing as much. They can now go into the store and be around all the uh, lights and they can actually go grocery shopping. <laughs> uh, so a lot of these things uh, we can't run and hide, really. I mean, that this is the way the world is. What we can change is our deuterium levels. And that's how we have the power to be able to li live in a world that we don't have a lot of power control over. Mm -hmm. So right, right. And, but if we focus on that as number 101, yes, of course, if you're sensitive, you're going to um, reduce your exposure as much as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you're not able to do that. But you can. Yes, we are breathing in deuterium, but the doctors have also created masks that can really reduce how much we're breathing in if it's in our environment. And we do have control over what we put in our mouth and what we drink. So we have a lot more control over managing our deuterium levels than we have control over anything else. Yeah, and it's interesting, the glycosate, the way they work is they actually go into the TCA cycle and they take out one of the pathways that make metabolic water. That's the way they work. That's why they're bad for you. So now your body can't make metabolic water. That's how it kills the plants, how they use it as a weed killer. That's what it's for. We were in Australia and uh, we were in a zoo and we saw the... Uh, uh, Tasmanian devil. Yeah, the Tasmanian devil. Oh. And they have all tumors on them now. Facial and, tumors. Yeah, facial tumors. Really? So they're blind. They're blind. So they find their way around. Uh, uh, they clean up the floor of the bush, really. They uh -huh. find their way around with their face, their noses. And so all of this, <clears throat> uh, the, the foliage stuff they use, uh, just like glyphosate, that's what actually gives them cancer. So we talked to them, and now we're going to do a study where we give at least the ones in captivity to turn the fleet of water so they don't disappear. So if we're able to cure uh, cancer in Tasmanian devils, so we're right. happy with that. We first of all start with the deuterium depleted water because that works quickly and it lowers your deuterium levels so that your own natural mechanisms for depleting deuterium will start to work again. We focus uh -huh. on air, right, the breathing part. So mm -hmm. we utilize the mask that if you can wear it while you sleep or throughout the day to accentuate the benefits of the mask. But particularly while you're consuming the deuterium depleted water, the air that you exhale will have less deuterium in it than the air in your environment or your house or your bedroom. Okay. So you'll be take, taking less in, but you will also capture a little bit of your own carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide triggers your hemoglobin to release oxygen to your tissues. And uh, that's very important. I mean, it, uh, higher oxygen in your tissues uh, is an indication of how robust you are and how you can really become stronger. Cancer cells don't like oxygen. Mm -hmm. That extra oxygen also is a tattoo binder, so it grabs a hold of it and it doesn't release it until you excrete it. So the breathing part is really the exposure to the um, what's going in through the nose is taken care of that way um, to reduce how much we're taking in. The food part, we really teach people how to eat a deuterium depleted diet. Mm -hmm. And um, 
we actually make more mitochondria by having more muscles. So we want to make sure that they're doing appropriate exercise, depending on who they are and how old they are, and what they're, mm -hmm. um, how robust they are at the time. And, and sunshine, uh, sunshine is very important, but also light therapy in general to help our heal our circadian rhythm. Uh, many people have a broken circadian rhythm due to just being indoors and having unnatural light, uh, especially when we're supposed to be winding down, we're confusing our pineal gland. It doesn't know to produce melatonin to help us to go to sleep. So we use light therapies to help heal our circadian rhythm. We've got receptors for uh, light inside our guts, in deep into our body. and. How does it get there? How does light get from our skin into our body? It moves via a frequency. So this light resonance goes through into areas where we have these receptors. However, if we do have an overload of deuterium in there, it's going to bump into that frequency and it's going to break that resonance where it's going to become fractured and not get to where it's going to be able to be utilized. So it kind of is a little bit of a catch-22 sometimes as we do take these other methods of eating and breathing and moving in a way that we deplete it, then, you know, it can kind of start fix lowering it itself and fixing things by itself. Mm -hmm.